And my first night in San Francisco, I saw uh, the Coquette and uh, um, Allen Ginsberg. So I knew I had come to the right place. I thought I was on Mars. L.A. is the place where they write adventures, and San Francisco is, is the place where adventures happen that get written about. <laughs> I mean, that's our, our strength, and that's our um, fame, is, you know, out in San Francisco. You guys out in San Francisco, you're always doing something new, different. I mean, it, you break the rules all the time. Here, there's just people doing, I got this idea, you know, I want to do this, and, and the people go, try it. The city is kind of like a magnet for outsiders, for eccentrics, for bohemians, for outcasts, for rebels. You can't go any farther left than here. It breeds different thinking. It breeds the life of the human imagination. If where you were aiming at on the map was the state of being personally free, this was the place to come. <laughs> Everything was alive and the whole culture was just erupting. It wasn't just that you had a North Beach with all these beat poets in it and, and you had people like Lenny Bruce you know, transgressing the norm by doing material that he'd get arrested for. We're talking about a period of transition where changes were happening very, very quickly. And a lot of changes in the arts, not just in the theater, but also in music, also in painting, also in poetry. City Lights Bookstore was there on the corner, you know, with Lauren Ferlinghetti. You had a neighborhood like the Castro, which had been a family, working class neighborhood, within a year or two become a gay mecca. And you had the hippie movement. A companion peace demonstration brings out 50,000 marchers in downtown San Francisco, pacifists and hippies together. We wanted to emblemize total freedom. We wanted to say, guys and girls, it looks like this. This is what it could be. All this loosening was very good for the arts. San Francisco became a point of focus for uh, all the new directions in the theater, not just in the United States, but in the world. The workshop under Herbert Blau was underway. And it seemed to me that San Francisco at the time was the Mecca, you know, that was it. That was the place to be. If there was anywhere in the world that you should be if you were going into the theater, it had to be San Francisco. We began to do things at the absolute extremity of what you could put on a stage. Founded in 1952 by Herbert Blau and Jules Irving, the San Francisco Actors Workshop was the city's first theater created after the war. Its engagement with the literary avant-garde, collaboration with other disciplines, and leftist political leanings established a tradition that has been the hallmark of San Francisco theater ever since. The Actors Workshop was particularly known for daring work, for